our management project for general management for the spring semester of 2016. Steve's Art of Management, the details and our project in general. General concept. Our TV show is about the business organization that is in disarray and is a complete mess. The organization personifies mismanagement, which is evident from greater employee dissatisfaction and employee turnover. And effective leaders and managers can pose a huge threat to the long run sustainability of the organization. And our TV show reflects the journey of an organization from being on the verge of failure to the perfect example of an organization that works like a family. Our goal overall is to, of course, learn about management ourselves as we put together the project, but also to teach others about management and the importance of many of the concepts that are not, do not have much awareness. Our primary dilemma is a code of ethical conduct and managerial ethics with emphasis on the ethical dilemma, having a choice between two competing but valid options, which means keeping Edward where he is or reassigning him. This uh, specifically creates a split within the audience about whether they want Steve to get the promotion or if they want Edward to change to be a better man, which will keep them coming back to watch more and learn more. Edward's management style is getting increasingly unpopular among the employees, as evident from higher turnover and ex-interviews with leaving employees. Our storyline. Our setting is in an office with a warehouse in the back. The target concepts for this story will relate to implementing management concepts. The specific company, uh, FT Gas, is a company located in Palm Harbor, Florida. This business specializes in gas grill parts with the country's largest grill parts inventory, shipping parts to you at low prices. The reason why we chose this setting is that it's very general and can apply to many different businesses, making it more applicable to the general audience. Even though this specifically is a grill part, it's just one example, but our hope is that the audience will understand that it transfers to other businesses. Our episodes. The first and our pilot, the first part, is kind of a prelude, which is an introduction, or what we call episode zero. You can also call it episode five, six, and seven, if you're a fan of numbering things like Star Wars. Anyhow, the introduction is the backstory of the company and the setup for the rest of the series. It gives the audience an idea of what the characters are doing. And then, of course, the rest of our episodes just go through little mini trials and resolutions, but they all build up to a greater question of if Steve is going to get a promotion, if he's going to learn enough in time, or if Edward is going to be able to turn around and make a comeback. Our characters. Edward is the operations manager of the company. He has issues with his temper and treats people very rudely. He believes that there are a lot of people on the streets who are in need of a job, and if they do not like to work there, or the way he treats them, they are free to leave the company. This is also one of the reasons for their high turnover rate, because these people do not want to work with him, so they leave. However, there are lots of people looking for jobs, so they keep coming back. Eventually, you would think that he would run out of people to work for, but it is a pretty tough economy right now. Alex is the HR manager, who has been noticing the problem with the employees and with Edward. She's very intuitive and very caring, but she's also very firm. She presents the issue of the employees leaving uh, to Dan in hopes that maybe he can do something. Peter, the inventory, inventory manager, is extremely timid and is very overwhelmed by the entire situation. Dan is the owner of the business, even though he is rarely ever present. Maria is the maid who is always listening in and occasionally spreading information, which provides a comic relief in the show, but also is kind of a sidestep to illustrate management concepts to the audience. Steve is the new guy on the block, the promising young man who just may earn his way up in the company, or maybe even soften Edward's heart. Our target audience. Our target is any manager, manager of a company with emphasis on new managers so that they can understand early on the ethical decisions that they need to make. The show raises questions with regard to the suitable management style for deriving the best out of the employees as specifically illustrated in our mini-episode 4. 
Managers will understand how employees need to be handled and empowered so that their productivity and job satisfaction can be raised and turnover can be lowered. In short, we're hoping that our audience will be new managers who are, you know, hoping to kick back and relax after a day or even people aspiring to be managers. And by watching this, they will learn something either passively or actively, and hopefully we will be able to raise a generation of new, more effective managers. For a demonstration of concepts in the TV show, are just a couple examples. For our first episode, Steve is seeking to stand out at his new job, stirs up trouble with Edward when he begins questioning Edward's management style and choices such as why the company went with its current structure. Covers a walkthrough of strategic management's four steps of establishing the organization's objectives and general direction, formulating a specific strategy, planning and executing that strategy, and monitoring the results and making necessary adjustments. Also, this episode covers the importance in understanding the organization's environment when setting up its structure in reference to whether the company is complex or simple, and if the environment is more static or dynamic, as well as the role an organization's strategy plays in determining its structure. This also generally outlines our prelude as it kind of sets up the plan for the company and how people are in strife trying to even figure out a structure since Edward has created so much uh, disarray. Also, it's the beginning of Edward's questioning that maybe he has some misconceptions about management, and hopefully that stirs up questions within the audience that maybe they can learn something as well. For episode five, or four, uh, the episode illustrates Theory X and Theory Y managers, which is theory of motivation and management and operation. These theories were developed by Douglas McGregor. Theory X considers that workers dislike their work and have little inherent motivation to perform well. Therefore, managers need to rely on detailed rules and instruction, on close monitoring, and on the threat of punishment to gain employee compliance. Theory Y believes that employees will perform well if given appropriate working conditions, a management style based on self-direction and self-control with little external control can take out the best from employees. While Edward has always believed in Theory X and provided his rationale to Dan for doing so, Dan advised Edward to change his management style to Theory Y. Dan narrated to him the importance of Theory Y, although reluctantly, Edward agrees to adopt the new management style. Even Edward himself is amazed at the results he managed to achieve that way. This is also the hook of the first pilot episode, that people want to come back and find out if Steve is going to get a promotion or if Edward is going to be able to turn around. And as I was talking about earlier, this creates that moral split within the audience that will make them come back because they want to resolve it. The general management conclusions that we as a team made from this, and that we hope others will take away from the show, is that modern management is a collection of many tasks a day, and that managers must have an open personality that fosters the employee's personal growth, as we can see by Edward's change. Organizations must be efficiently structured to maximize communication and output, Group work can be used for some decisions to be more effective. Management involves a lot of common sense and intuition to be most effective. It does have a lot of people skills involved and a lot of learning how to open up, which intuition and common sense do play a major role in. Our reflections. We all enjoyed coming up with the concept for the TV show together. There were times when we were frustrated and didn't understand why we were doing this project. But seeing it all come together makes more sense. This course has been surprising. None of us expected management to be such a complex topic that embodied so much. Now that we know these different concepts and ideas, we are much more prepared for the business world. Inevitably, when we meet, met to make the TV shows, we automatically created a sort of study group from all the discussion. And that way, we learned without even realizing it, which is a very neat experience. Our recommendations for future people completing this project is that you should get started on your project early in the week. It'll be a lot more fun and a lot less stressful. Also, don't make your group mates mad. It will only come back to bite you later. And trust me, it bites hard when it does. Try to meet in person as often as possible. It really is more fun and you will learn more. Also, don't be afraid to speak up if you're not satisfied. Don't wait until it is too late. With our project, our group was very on and off with the communication. 
There were two people that consistently did it throughout the entire semester, but the others came in and left. And originally, the two of them were very accepting and just covered for everybody until the end when the work started getting heavy and they finally decided to tell the teacher. Of course, at that point, there wasn't much he could do to help, and his recommendation was that we should have told him earlier when maybe we could have fixed things. So don't be afraid of being a tattletale or whatever it is that you're afraid of, or even if you're like me and you just want to fix everything and do it yourself, just swallow your pride and hold them accountable for their actions, and it will be better for you and them in the end.